G'day lawnies, it's Matt Dawn from Lawn Porn. Get your lawn on. Today's video is about renovating buffalo lawn. So if you have a buffalo, don't mow it to the ground for a reno. You have to have some green leaf showing. The first part of the video shows you the history of this lawn. I took it over on the 27th of April and it was about to hit the dormancy time. So look, we did as much as we could to get through the winter and now that we've hit spring, we can do a renovation. If you have a buffalo lawn, you should really renovate it every year in early to mid spring. It will uh, get rid of your thatch, it'll get rid of all your issues and you'll, you'll have a nice lush grass come up in a few weeks after you do it. Look in the comments, I'll have all the uh, information of what I did and the rates of everything that I did. At the end of the video there's a bit of a summary. In future videos, probably in about a couple of weeks time, I'll uh, see how it's going. By the end of October, this lawn should be Mickey Mouse. So enjoy the video, get your lawn on. Let's go into the history of this lawn at Sir Walter Buffalo. And in late April, my mate Stacy said, hey, Dormy, you want to come and check out my buffalo? It's in trouble. And I've uh, come and had a look and uh, yeah, it's not looking good. It's a warm season grass and it was heading into the dormancy times and even though it's quite a narrowed area, they were watering it every night and they had a fungal infection which nearly totally wiped it out. And that's because it was all compacted for the kids and everybody using the area. So I got to mowing the area first and to see what I had and then I went into these areas and just got rid of everything knowing that they were going to be bare throughout the winter months. I got further stuck into it with a rotary hoe just to relieve some of that compaction. So luckily that fungal infection never came back, um, didn't need to use any fungicides, I just got rid of the stuff that was the problem. So then after I've done that I've put some moist down and obviously watered that in. And talking about watering, I got Stacy watering once a week early in the morning and it improved the lawn out of sight. Going into early May now, the race was really on to beat dormancy, so the focus was improving the soil structure. We went nice and light where there was grass because we knew that the dormancy would be stopping the grass growing soon. We put down four seasons for slow release feeding and jumping to the next week, we went down with Instagreen and of course it's got a dramatic effect, but it also helps with the photosynthesis and uh, getting that energy into the plant. Throughout the rest of autumn and winter we backed it up with uh, foliar treatments, primarily launch and root builder and you can see the quality that we had going throughout the winter months which was much better than the quality that we started off with. Now that we've survived winter well, we're going into spring in good condition and it's renovation time. G'day everybody, it's Matt Dawn from Lawn Porn. Get your lawn on. We're at uh, Stacy and Kenny's house. Go on, give us, give us your best. Whoa! Hey, kick a few more goals, mate. As you can see, this buffalo is really doing well. Uh, Kenny got the four seasons down on it a couple of weeks ago. Today, he's mowed it down to a number four on the old uh, the old Victor. But look, uh, these areas that uh, we dug out before, see the spread there? So what we're going to do today is we'll probably mow it down another notch. We'll give it a, a try with the Swordman Verticutter. Air eight, then top dress. Get your lawn on. Vertically cut and uh, get rid of some of the long runners and get a rid of a bit of the uh, uh, debris underneath. I might try it about 10 mil. All right, I'll teach you about this one. This is like a lock, so you have to pull that up and that will uh, activate it going round and round and this one activates the roller to make it go forward. So one go over with the swarm vertical and look, 
You're filling up a bin. So now what you need to do is you need to go over it again with the uh, rotary. What same you had level. before. Yeah, same level. So he's done rather well. What the Sporting pulled up is it's called a stolen. This is the root system that will attach every so often into the ground. It all spreads above ground. Now, if we wanted to, we could put that down here, put a bit of soil on it, and that'll that'll take off. It'll spread like these bits. But what we've decided to do with these bits is next week I'm going to be in Adelaide. I'm going to grab a few rolls because I just want it all complete quickly, and then it'll look um, really smart. Quite honestly, we know that this is all growing in anyway, but uh, yeah, the uh, owners want a quick result uh, so they can have their soccer matches. Do we want to show the camera your, your uh, dusty haircut? This is why we don't get drunk on weekends. We've been driving around, singing songs way too loud because we wanna. Picking up a love, friends for love to cut to live because we wanna. We wanna. Yeah, we just wanna have fun. The trunk's full of wine. We're gonna stay up, have the time of our life. Rating's done. We're going to get into the top dressing. We want some of the green shoots of the leaves showing through. Uh, we need that for buffalo. Buffalo needs that photosynthesis to keep growing. Lots of hard work. I'm a bit stuffed. I might take five minutes. All right, five minutes is done. Get back to work. Straight on the lawn, mate. Yeah. Looks good, mate. You're a pro. I can roll up. Roll down. Oh, we'll get some moist down and then we'll uh, put some four seasons down and then water it in. Job's done. Like and subscribe to the channel.
and we can have a beverage. Done. Yeah. Plenty of cold one. Cool. That's it. Ordering it in now. It's done. Look at Mickey Mouse. That is going to come up an absolute treat. Got that new growth still showing. Filled in the low spots. Baby!